Welcome to the channel. I'm Michael Hansen, and in this video, we're gonna be going over my next extreme build. Now, what makes this build so unique is that it coincides with a basement build project. Now, if you've been following my videos, you know for the past two months that we have a basement construction progress underway. Now, this design includes a gym, a server room, and an entertainment area with a bar. And I'm really excited about it. A lot of planning went into the electrical, and audio work for this basement. Now, at the heart of this basement is gonna be an extreme PC that's gonna help entertain guests and be a lot of fun and help with a lot of my pastimes. So, where this PC is gonna go? Right here on the wall. So stay tuned and find out what components make it to the next extreme build. Welcome back. So let's talk about the objectives of this build. This build is gonna support a number of my pastime activities, including Guitar Hero. Just kidding. And that is live music. On the wall, where we're gonna hang the computer, is gonna be eight guitars that have accumulated over 13 years as a professional musician. Other activities this PC is gonna support is DJing and video mixing. Now, I was a hobbyist DJ for about six years and played some really interesting venues. Anyways, we're gonna be running Serato and Virtual DJ Pro. Now, in order to entertain these guests, we're gonna need some serious displays, so let's check them out. One 55-inch LED TV. Two 55-inch LED TVs. Three 55-inch LED TVs. And a fourth LED TV that's only 46 inches, but it's gonna be right behind the DJ booth. And this is where the DJ booth is gonna be. And if you see that bar above, that is a, what is it, a plumbing bar? I don't know. It's something I drilled into the wall that is a hell of a lot cheaper than a light truss. That much I'll tell you, but it will work just good. So we're gonna go ahead and put a DJ Focade and DJ table here. For the DJ furniture, we're gonna use Odyssey Focade and table. Now the Odyssey Focade and DJ table, let me tell you, they're not light, they're plywood with black carpet, but it's gonna go really well. It's probably not for you mobile DJs, but it's gonna look well here. Now, for a sound system, we need something pretty big to entertain the group. You know what we're gonna select? It is the QSC KW18s and K12s. Now, each one of these speakers absolutely rock. They're about 1,000 watts and almost peak at about 130 decibels. Now these are the subwoofers. Now these K12s will be mounted to subwoofer poles. To support the live music, we're gonna need some additional audio components. That's gonna include a Heath Allen 10 channel mixer board. In addition, we're gonna need an audio rack to basically support the additional equipment that's gonna be rack mounted in this. Now if you're a mobile DJ, don't recommend something like this because it's open, but we're gonna go ahead and rack in a Staten CD MP3 turntables, a 32 band graphic equalizer with a crossover, a voltage regulator, and some additional audio components, including a DVR so we can run the whole sound and audio for this room. Before we talk about the components that are gonna make it to the PC build, let's talk about the ambience of the room. We're gonna, one of the things we're gonna include is smart lighting. Now we're gonna use intelligent lights that are Parcan LEDs provided by American DJ. Now this lighting is gonna go ahead and provide up lighting and down lighting with lighting effects. And we're gonna use a DMX controller to allow that to move with the music. Now that's important when we talk about the PC because if you remember my 6950 build, I didn't want to put the disc lights in the computer, but in this one, we want as much RGB and color as possible. And we're also gonna to wanna to include that with the room. All right, for the components that are gonna make this PC, one of the things we're gonna to wanna to do, as I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the wall. So for the case, we selected the Thermaltake P3 core case. Now this case is open with a front window just to protect the PC components, and I think it's gonna be great, and it's gonna be a centerpiece for discussion. Now, let's talk about the processor. Now, there's many choices now today with the AMD with the Ryzen, and I don't wanna get involved in that, but I will say this. I have a 6950X for content creation and for video games, and it's a lot of fun, and it does it really well. 
For this job and what we need to run the audio video with Serato and Virtual DJ, we're gonna want a higher clock speed per core, then more cores with less clock speed. So what did we select? We basically selected the Cabby Lake 77i7700K unlock processor. Now with that processor, we're gonna need a motherboard. Now the motherboard I'm choosing is that one that's actually absolutely fun and incredible, and it's also done by ASUS. This is the ASUS Maximus 9 code. Now this is gonna look very well on the wall, mounted with the RGB lighting with Aura. We're gonna use cable mods to go around it, and it's hopefully gonna be able to move the music. Now I haven't done that with the 6950X with the Rampage Edition 10, but I think we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot, and we're gonna see how it goes together. For memory, nothing else other than G-Skill. Now the G-Skill memory we're gonna use is gonna be clocked at 3800 overclock with 632 gigs of RAM. Now that is four eight gig chips, and I think it's gonna look absolutely spectacular with this build. The other thing we're gonna use for a hard drive, we're gonna use the 960 Samsung Pro. Now this drive is gonna go into the M2 slot, and I know this board supports two, and we can possibly add another one, but right now, we're gonna go ahead and go with the 512 gigs. We're also gonna use Windows 10 64-bit Pro. Now the only thing we're missing here is the GPUs. For the GPUs, we're gonna run 1080 Ti's in SLI. Now I wanna keep that as a surprise. We're gonna also add that to the PSU and the CPU cooler, which the lights, I'm um, hopefully, are gonna be integrated. We're gonna, this is gonna be one of three videos that are about to come out. The second video will be the time-lapse build of this PC and getting it set up. The third video will be the integrated sound, audio, and lighting equipment that will be going in this room and we'll show you the finished product with the basement and I'm really, really excited about that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's get this thing racked up. Let's get the DJ booth set up.
So we're about to conclude this video. We still have a lot of stuff to set up. Vocal effects, guitar processor, and a bass effects. We also have to set up the NS7 Release 3. We're gonna save that though for the next video when we put together the 1080 Ti um, running in SLI with our extreme build. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna put some links to some of the components that you saw in this video. And don't forget to check out the written blog. Thanks for watching guys.